Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of the Ungodly Geeks Podcast, and this is our E3 episode. I'm Joe. I'm Luke. And here we go. We're gonna we're gonna go um, ahead and start this off, but I, I gotta do this. I gotta make fun of EA <laughs> a little bit. I, I I cannot fucking believe what I mean, seriously, you're gonna get <laughs> you're gonna get some prank YouTuber to come in and announce your fucking need for speed game. What the fuck is wrong and with you? Next, uh um Oh uh, 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 <laughs> like, okay man. Did this podcast rehearse? this Did podcast is completely unscripted. We we don't we, we might have some notes to go over, but we, we don't write a script out because I'm too fucking lazy for that. Yeah. But I mean, holy fuck. It was bad. It was so bad. I mean, you you got a prank YouTuber. And I'm not trying to down the guy. I'm sure he's important. I'm sure he makes a, makes money. I'm sure he has the influence they say he has because this is what they called him. They called him a YouTube influencer. influencer. Um, I'm sure he has that that level of of reach. Okay, fine. I'm not going to sit there and down you, but holy fuck, make sure you know what these people are capable of before you hire them to hype your game up. That's I, I don't oh know. Maybe Lord. did they not brief him on what he exactly like? You're going to be in front of a huge crowd, but this is going to be viewed. But I mean, he's a, he's somebody who has a following on YouTube. I'm sure. Right? Yeah, he should be. I mean, he's not. I think it's a little bit different though, because in YouTube, you know, he he does prank videos or whatever he does now. So, I don't know. I know at one time. It's yeah, at, at one time he had a prank YouTube channel. His name was what Jesse Wellens. Mm-hmm. I had no, I have no idea who the fuck the guy is. So beyond the mention of that PewDiePie did in his cringe video about he did YouTube cr- pranks at one time, like that that's that's what that's the guy you got. Yeah. To, to to present Need for Speed uh, payback. You got a guy who did prank videos. <laughs> you didn't get a guy who does game reviews. You didn't get a guy who does Let's Plays. You didn't get a guy who, you know, just deals with video games in general. You got a guy who plays shitty pranks on I people. Could, like, don't get me wrong. I could get not getting someone who does reviews, like a Boogie or right. um, oh, I mean, Angry I'm, Joe or any of those guys. But, I can see that because that's conflict of interest. I guess, but yeah. But get a Twitch streamer. Get somebody who get somebody is who in the gaming games. market. Yeah, who, who is there, who knows, who doesn't need a fucking teleprompter to tell you about oh, something. God. Or at least who it can public, pub, publicly speak. Which Luke cannot do. No, apparently so I, I'm let's not, not hire public. him to do your presentation. I just can't do the words correctly. Words can't into cold. Fuck. <laughs> That's an inside joke between us. We were outside going to lunch one day, and it was like negative forty degrees, and we were just—it was really fucking bad. But uh, I had a thought, and that's all that was able to be uttered from my mouth. Yeah, he made like five words, and none of them made sense. Uh, <laughs> but it's okay. Like, but yeah, like I, I don't—I just don't get like. Okay, influencer. I get it. You want you want somebody who has a, a large following on on YouTube because obviously you do want someone who's known. But here's the yeah, thing. It was here's just the, the way thing. They did it, but but here's the thing though. I'm a gamer. I'm someone you're going to target. I have no fucking idea who that guy mm-hmm. is. I'm sorry. I'm not. I I don't know him. I don't want to talk shit about him. But I mean, he, he was cringy as shit. Oh, yeah. But I have no idea who he was. I I looked and I'm like. Who the fuck is that? Yeah. Why is he presenting this? Is he a director? Is he a, a developer? No, he's just some guy who makes YouTube videos. Oh. So, I, I, did they not approach other people? Like, I know they had um, some people playing games, too. Right. They yeah. were their other influencers, and I, I didn't even pay attention long enough to figure out who they were. It yeah, was no just idea. a bad, bad show. No idea, but I mean, yeah, I, I mean. <sighs> Only thing that came close to it was Microsoft trying to sell the 9-11. <laughs> Dude, Minecraft in 4K. Oh yeah, Minecraft in 4K was pretty bad too. They mentioned 4K like literally 40 goddamn times in a five minute period. It's on like, a dude. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to Microsoft. Oh yeah, Microsoft. Please listen to me. As as a console gamer and someone who is a PC gamer now, because I, I I grew up with consoles. I've been a PC gamer for maybe five years now, but I've been a console gamer for like 25 years. Microsoft. Listen to me. Sony, you listen to anyone who makes a console. Can we do this instead? Instead of pushing for 4K, can we get 1080p down first? Yeah. Please? Like, I, 1080p, I, 60 frames. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> let, like, like, not this fucking 4K, 60 frame shit off because you no, know you're no, not no, going to yeah, make like, it. Like, like, you know you're not going to make it. Here's you finally the thing. admitted it. Here's the thing. I love 4K. 
I'm a PC gamer though. I have a very high end rig. I've paid like two. I've put two thousand dollars worth of, of equipment into this thing. You know what I don't do? I don't do 4K gaming. You know what I shoot for? I shoot for 60 frames at 1080p. Yeah. So if you want to compete with 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 that, come on, get get 1080 down, get 1080 perfected before you start moving on to 4K. 4K, leave that for video and and stuff like that. When you're doing gaming, please, let's get 1080p down. Because you still don't have 1080p down. No. I mean, half the games that are coming out for the Scorpio, which I admit is powerful. Like like I said, my fucking, like I said in in a past pod, my computer's almost as powerful as a Scorpio. Or I guess Xbox One X now. (laughs) Xbox One X. (laughs) I can't do 4K. I can. But I don't try to. Target 1080p, get 60 frames 1080p down because most TVs are 60 hertz. Get that down before you start trying to do 4K. This 4K 30 frames per second, it's garbage. Stop it. Yeah. Please stop it. It's just I, I think you're, you're, you are trying to compete with something that actually isn't in competition with you. You're trying to compete with PCs. Stop. And high end gaming rig PCs. Yeah, you're you're trying to which, compete with gaming PCs that cost fifteen hundred plus dollars, and you're doing it with a five hundred dollar console. Now, don't get me wrong; you have done you have packed a lot of power into this thing. The six teraflops, well, great. I mm-hmm. thank you, but stop it. Just stop it now. Especially when you know your developers in general are not going to shoot for that. Yeah, they're not your targeting Ubisofts, that at all. Your EAs, yeah, they're not. No. They're not going to go for that. They're going for the lowest common denominator. And the bad thing is, is because the PS4 Pro is out there, and it's a 4K console, and it can only do 30 frames a second. Guess what? It's going to hold you back. Yep. Because how many... There were a number of games where the developers were like, no, it's going to play at 30 frames at 4K. Oh, okay, cool. But anyway... say it's 60 frames in fucking quotations. Lying bastards. Man, you be so Anyway, let's let's move on to some positive stuff. Some yeah, stuff that we're actually looking games. forward. Let, yeah, let's talk about some games. One thing Microsoft did in spades. Oh, like, absolutely. They they did they did really well. Granted, I, to say. I, I gotta say, as far as what and I've watched, e, been E three has been the big thing for me since I was a kid. Um, probably should have done this at the beginning, but E three's been like every year. Oh my god, E three's out. Like back to watching it on fucking cable on X play or extended play or whatever the fuck the name of the show was then. Finally, internet comes out, watching it, streaming, and all these different iterations. Right. Um, E3 was the big thing every year. And the last few years, it's gone to shit. It has. No, it totally has. Like, they, like There are people that probably will say it's always been shit. But, oh, my God, has it been really fucking bad? No, I mean. Lies and slander. Pretty much, all yeah. E3 has been. Pretty much, yeah. Not, I wouldn't say slander so much. Slander. As they just can't deliver on <laughs> what they're – they're over-promising and under yeah, oh yeah. Fucking like, pre – rendered graphic in game graph no, no fuck you i mean yeah no. it, it's in game because it's a video that's in game that's yeah. i don't think that but counts it's all guys come on fucking rendered all right absolute max possible settings and you're going to crash all of that shit by the time the game will launch oh yeah because the fucking the console use. simply just isn't capable of, no. of doing that and i i don't i don't get why i don't get why they're trying to compete with pcs i just don't get it i i i don't understand like okay. consoles are turning into PCs, as I think it's it's just continuing in that way. Well, I mean that's the way and it's every, all. Yeah, everybody, even yeah, uh, and that is that's the way it's been. But like you're trying to build an entertainment center, they were trying to build an entertainment center on the Xbox One. Yeah. So why are you competing with PCs? How well, many, here's the thing. How I many? Don't hold think... up. How many fucking people actually do go through the process of building a home theater PC, yeah. which is where you where you see them trying to like compete with? It's like they're not they're not actually competing with PCs. They're not trying to. It well, is not in their goal. PC is not there on the board of this is who we need to beat. They want to beat Sony. Let's be real. They want to be that console. And power, they always want to increase in power. And we've hit this point now where I even said it between uh, the Xbox 360 and the Xbox One and the uh, PS3 and PS4. The upgrade between those consoles was pathetic in graphical power. It was yeah. not... It's not like going from the PS2 to PS3. Right. That was a Big fucking jump. It was. Um, and eventually the games do get better and better. Like don't like Battlefront, even on the Xbox One or PS4, looks beautiful. We did kind of eventually start to get there, but they're pushing. There's there's no more room to go. Yeah. So they're trying now to do that next jump. 
but that next jump is where they're bumping into PC and where they're hitting this limitation of that's and, a $500 console. Right. And see, like, that's, the, that's a big price drop. And that's, that's the thing. That, that's, that's what I'm talking about. Like, yeah. stop. Stop trying to do that. Because yeah. But they even, have to do the next thing. Even with my setup, I can't reach that. Yeah. And I, like I said, you, you're going from a $500 console to a $2,000 PC. Mm-hmm. If you want to do 4K gaming at 60 frames a second, you're going to need a whole lot more than oh, six yeah. teraflops. You're going to need closer to 10 to 12 teraflops. It's already been shown. People who have you know SLI or Crossfire setups, which is combining two video cards to work as one, mm-hmm. they are the ones that are doing 4K gaming. Yeah, They are the, the people who sat there and spent... Fifteen hundred dollars on their video cards alone. Mm-hmm. They are the ones that are. Do- so it's You're like talking three, four thousand dollar rigs, right? Yeah. So it's like, why are you trying to do that? And, I think it's, it's, and it's, it's, it's. I think it's like you said. Yeah, they're trying to do that next jump. Well, how about the next jump be sixty frames a second on ten eighty p? You fucks, because you still yeah. can't do that. Well, they. And the other thing is, they, that's just fucking jargon for them. Yeah. Is they want to be able to say that whether or not they reach it, because like they still haven't gotten ten eighty p down right. pat yeah um and the other thing is they're trying to race and keep up okay, with well, we, we might want to stop video. getting on this stuff because we're completely getting off topic oh i know because it's like <laughs> right. hey, we want more e3 <laughs> okay but, okay you know, anyway. let's get so, back to let's get back to the games uh <laughs> but I wanted, four four to seven i'm yeah. looking forward to i'm totally looking forward to four to seven uh the last one i actually was able to play i think was was three and or forza, forza horizon three or whatever that one was the the was last that the one open world one because that one was fun as hell no, I think it was the very last one to come out on the 360 before okay. the 360 was succeeded. Or mm-hmm. It was Forza Horizon 3, and I loved that game. I love racing games. I'm a huge Need for Speed fan. I'm a huge you know, like racing game fan. And when mm-hmm. it's open world, like Need for Speed Most Wanted, it's yeah. like, oh, yeah, I fucking love this. Um, I so, still go back and play Burnout Paradise. I yeah, love that game. I yeah. love the Burnout series. I'm not a hardcore racing fan. I like arcade Right, yeah. Need no. for Speed's good, too. I, I, I'm I'm more in I like the balance between realism and arcade and I, I don't like the realism so I don't play stuff like Dirt and Dirt 3 and, and yeah. those games even though I would argue that 4 is probably more realistic than Need for Speed Need for Speed yeah, I think strikes a good is. balance between the two and Forza Forza manages to be real while still having the arcade feel so I still yeah. love it um, so yeah I'm actually kind of excited about that especially since it is releasing for Windows Windows 10, of course, but it'll probably be on their really shitty UWP platform, but I'm okay with that. You know, if the game is good and the integration is good, I'll probably pick it up. Yeah. So, yeah, Forza 7 looked really good, but uh, they're, they're doing something kind of weird for the promotion of that. They're uh, selling a 911. Yeah, they're selling a, a Porsche, 911, a fucking Porsche. A Porsche, a Porsche 911, <laughs> what is it, GTR2 or something of that nature. I, and it's like, I didn't okay. even hear that because all anyone ever talked about was the 911. Yeah, I mean, they did. Uh, it's another one of those things where they mentioned it f- way too many times, like yeah. they did with 4K. It's like they mentioned it In way 4K. too many times. It's like, okay, we we get it. Stop it. Everyone yeah. is fucking afraid because we never forgot 9/11. It's okay. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I like that. I like um, I like Forza Seven. I like racing games. Uh, of course, um, we got a release date for Crackdown Three. See, Crackdown. I loved the first Crackdown. Right. I thought the sequel. Uh, it was a lot. It was a little bit too much. Like the first one, it kind of ended up just up. It was shoved under the rug. Kind of more of the same thing. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. It's so which I is fine in certain circumstances. Yeah, I don't know. It's though. fun co-op, but it was just. Uh, I love that type of open world game, and Crackdown One totally scratched that itch. And you get it's so fun to get that powerful jumping over buildings and picking up cars and throwing them at enemies. Kind of like Infamous in a way. Uh, yeah, a little Infamous yeah. kind of had that too. Infamous well, the Infamous too, especially was yeah. even more when you're like throwing that. around lightning and yeah, or like, like picking up cars powers. with bolts and just throwing them at stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, but that that type of world game is just it's just crazy fun. Yeah. the way you get more powerful by doing stuff in that game is a brilliant system that keeps you playing it and yeah, it keeps yeah. keeps you engaged cuz like yeah I got to I got to I got to be able to do that thing there oh, yeah. so I, I got to do you know all what? this I want to I want to be able to pick up a car so I'm going to run around and punch people I'm not going <laughs> to shoot anyone I'm just going to punch people to death until I'm strong enough to pick up cars and then I'll throw cars at people it's just good and oh my god Terry Crews announcing that game 
Are you fucking kidding me? Hell yes. Have, they Terry beat Cruz, Overwatch to it. They beat uh, Terry Cruz needs to, <laughs> Terry Cruz needs to announce everything. Oh my god, it just so funny. And I'm, I really, it sounds like he's a voice in the game. I think yeah. he is. Oh, that would be. I, you know, I don't Please. have any. I have no doubt in my mind that he would do that. I, I will buy that game day one if he's a voice actor in that game. He oh, wanted yeah. to be in Blizzard. He really wants to play. Uh, character in Overwatch. If he's in this, fuck yes. Give oh yeah, me. no, that'll that'll make it up for that. I mean, I yeah. why wouldn't you put Terry Crews in fucking your, in your game? I don't I don't give a shit. Yeah. Like, Terry Crews, you want to you want to be a voice in in my game, dude? Yeah, no, let's do this. I mean, who yeah. doesn't love Terry Crews? You know, yeah. like seriously. Woo! <laughs> Explosions! Yeah. I mean, all those Old Spice commercials. Old Spice. Uh, every watch. single one of those commercials were amazing. <laughs> The remixes of them too, man, and and the ones where they like Old Spice so powerful it it advertises in other people's ads. Yeah, next week podcast about Terry Crews. There you go. We could right. probably do that. Um, uh, other thing that one thing big that Microsoft did, like I said, showing game after game after game. Um, the indie scene on the Xbox One, Xbox One S. Holy shit! Yeah, like they showed tons and tons of indie games. Yeah. Um. Just I, beautiful, artistic, like yeah, those are those. A lot of those look amazing. Yeah, they fucking got Cuphead, which I've been looking forward to for like three fucking years. Yeah, I mean, I gotta, so, I gotta say, yes. like, like it seems like X, Microsoft is being super indie dev friendly yeah. with the Xbox oh, yeah. One, like it, more than they've been in the past. Like I would say that they're approaching like Windows support levels where anybody can pick up a fucking dev kit or a program. Well, they were or on the Xbox 360. Right. They literally had that set right. up for the 360. And Microsoft has always been there for the indie devs. I think that's really cool. Yeah. Well, Sony, Sony's the same way though. So. They do. Yeah, yeah. They do. They've been doing some weird shit with really, really terrible like fucking Jim I mean, Sterling shitting on type of games. I never said they were good games. No, no, no. I, <laughs> but you look but on like you look, like you look on the Vita store. There's yeah. tons of. There's tons of indie games. Um, PS4, too. But. Yeah. Everybody's picking up. Uh, Microsoft really took and showed those at its show. Yeah. And I think that was one of the most impressive things is they just focused on games. Yeah. Which and, I, I mean, really give Microsoft credit for. And you got to say, like, like an yeah, indie so dev. Much bullshit. An indie dev would never be able to get that kind of exposure on their own. So I got to say, for sure. Microsoft to go, hey, let's show off some of these indie games. We're going to show your trailer at E3, the biggest video games expo. Yeah, like, I, I shit myself, man, yeah. like, three times, like, right away. Yeah, I mean, I'm Just sure most of another. them are like, that's cool, I love having it out there, you know, they, they're they going to go over to PAX, and uh, people are actually going to pay attention to it at PAX, but, you know, hey. But, but so seriously, cool. like, like yeah, like like you said, it's the biggest video game in Mexico, nobody, Microsoft's like, yeah, we're going to do this. Yeah. So I think that's actually a really, really and it, cool And it thing. made it look like Microsoft had more games than everybody else. I mean, yeah. Not exclusives. The- but they had a lot of fucking games they showed. Yeah, uh, exclusive. Oh my God. Exclusive. They don't. They don't actually understand what that word means. No, they don't. They don't <laughs> at all. Like temporary exclusive. If yeah. they had said that, fine. I wouldn't be even arguing this. But it's like, no, Microsoft. That's not. That's not what that word means. You keep using it. I. I don't think it means what you think it means. But um. yeah. So uh, that, that that was pretty cool. I, I didn't watch uh, all of Microsoft's pro- conference. I didn't actually get to watch anything this past week. So I'm, I'm kind of just moving off of news, news stories here because my computer shit on me last week. I, I was lucky enough to catch um, like the back half of it when it was streaming because I happened to flip open Twitter. And everything people were talking about, I was like, okay, I have to see what the fuck is going on. This right. is hilarious. Right. And, yeah, no, it was, it was legitimately kind of impressive. Minecraft in 4K is awful. Um, your share play, fucking awesome. Playing with Switch users, Windows users, and uh, Xbox One, Xbox One X users, One S. Oh, yeah, the, 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 the backwards compatibility that they announced. That's, that's really awesome. Oh, that was awesome. really awesome, too. I, I got to say, like, 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 that's a really really cool fucking move that all of the accessories you have for your Xbox One and One S mm-hmm. will not will also work with your One X. Yeah. It's like, oh, that's fucking awesome, dude. Like, and okay. the original Xbox games coming out. It's yeah, like, backwards compatible like anything that is already, like anything they've thrown onto the backwards compatibility list will also work on the One X. Which yeah. I guess it makes sense. Um, because if I understand correctly when it comes to architectural differences, the architectural differences between the One to One S and the One X are like, almost nothing the only thing that really changed is they go from the weaker video processor to something much more powerful yeah so like i believe they still use the eight jaguar core uh, cpu which means whatever differences they've made 
are like they don't need to change anything else really. Because mm-hmm. all you gotta do is get the code executed, and then everything else can take that's over. That's good. Yeah. I, yeah. So uh, yeah, that's that's actually pretty cool. And uh, I mean, I'm still hung up a little bit on Minecraft and 4K. Like that's not fucking special. Oh my god, the lost. cow just looks so fucking awful. Like Minecraft will literally run if you have enough RAM. Yeah. Minecraft will literally run in any resolution. Yeah. Like no, I'm, I'm yeah, I'm like dead serious. Like you, it, it runs be default like 854 by uh, I don't know 500 or some shit like that. But it, it will literally like I ran it, I run it in 1080p. <laughs> <laughs> like, and I get like 300 frames a second. Yeah. Like Minecraft is no longer the complex game it used to be. So if you've got like four, six, eight gigs of RAM. You can run Minecraft in 4K on your shitty toaster laptop at home. It's fine. Hey, from personal experience, you can run Minecraft on two gigs of RAM. Uh, just you have to have the sight distance at the lowest possible. Yeah, yeah, possible. you, you, so you, you got to drop like, that a little bit. You see like six blocks ahead, but, but it's yeah. fucking possible in fact, before the, that fucking adventure update. In fact, the laptop uh, that we use to record in the studio, I actually uh, I actually used to run it on there. It has four gigs of RAM and a dual-core processor, and I was fine yeah. at 1080 or at uh, 900p. So it's, it's okay. But yeah, if you need Minecraft at fucking 4K for some god awful reason. Get you an Xbox One X, man. Yep. It's $500 to play Minecraft in 4K. Because that's worth it. Yeah. All right. Let's um, move on to uh, another big one. All right, so uh, I kind of want to talk about um, kind of want to talk about Nintendo a little bit. Oh, yeah. Nintendo is, is, is my my love. My, bread my, and butter. Uh, not my bread and butter. Uh, my bread and butter is all the bullshit I do at work. <laughs> but... Um, no, uh, Nintendo. Nintendo is definitely like what I get a hard on for. I'm a diehard Nintendo fan. That doesn't mean I can't admit that they fuck up a lot. Oh yeah, Nintendo's but, they're really good at fucking up. But they are um, between them and some like maybe five other things. They are pretty much my childhood. And uh, Metroid Prime Four, fucking get hyped! I. Ugh. I don't even care that all they showed was just the title, the title screen, <laughs> not even a title screen. Just like here's the title, Metroid Prime Four, and they were playing its theme music. It's like just I the want the fact this. that it's happening. Yes, the fact that say, hey, don't worry, guys, we got it. And according to Amazon, it's supposed to be released December 29th, two thousand eighteen. Obviously, that's not something we should take. Yeah, as, that's not as, a confirmed at, Nintendo at date. Nintendo's not go. Yeah, that's that's totally the date we're shooting for. It's like no, nah, it's, it's just whatever. But um, I. I I I oh, I want it so bad. Yeah. It I I really fucking do. I don't care if it runs in 720p. I don't care if it runs in 640p. Just fucking give it to me. I I want that so bad. Yeah, I mean Metroid Prime fucking fantastic game. Metroid Prime 2 is fantastic. I never played 3. I do plan on it soon, but it's like Metroid Prime is just so good, and I want a new game. And the last thing we got from Metroid was that shit, that pile of shit Federation Hunters, yeah. where they're trying to turn Metroid into Halo. It's like, just don't do that. In the worst possible ways. Yeah, like, but uh, no. But yeah. uh, in other Metroid news, there's the... The re-release of... There is the, the There is the reimagining okay, of, yeah. yeah, Metroid 2 Return of Samus, which I, I actually think was sparked. Um, by another Metroid 2 remake, the fan game that got shut down. Which, by the way, mm-hmm. fuck you, Nintendo. I'm playing it, and it is fan fucking tastic. <laughs> a fan over ten years created a better game than you did, so that's why you're doing this. We know it, <laughs> but it's being released on 3DS, which is really cool, and I I am going to get it. Yeah, I will oh, yeah, give. It looks I, will, beautiful. I will give Nintendo my money. I, but uh, yeah, they're remaking that, and that is good. That is fantastic because that's what we want. Yeah, yeah, and uh, I, you know, the Nintendo was. I I like the way they go about doing their Nintendo Direct. Uh-huh. Um, that they, they aren't trying to be like the other developers because they're not. Nintendo is its own breed. Like we said, oh, yeah. they, they do some really insanely stupid stuff. Like the Wii U. Nintendo is Nintendo. <laughs> yeah, the Wii U. Um, the way that apparently voice communication is going to work on the Switch is just. Oh. Which oh, I don't. It is so I, bad. I don't get. Like, dude. The Switch has a four port. Mic- because it has a four port uh, uh, headphone jack. Because you got the two Nintendo. audio channels and the two the two mic channels. Oh, I I have a fucking 
pair of headphones yeah. on the desk where we record right now that could already work. But Nintendo got a Nintendo. They, they have to come out with some random dongle, <laughs> some extra complicated fucking way. Yeah, like, yeah. just wait. You got a you're fucking gonna have dongle. To, you're going to have to connect your 3DS and, like, an original Game Boy Gray to fucking play Minecraft on with Microsoft or some crazy shit. Like, Nintendo gonna Nintendo, but they have fucking... They have Nintendo games, so you're gonna you have to deal with it. It's so stupid though, because like you know, the Switch also has Bluetooth. Yeah. Oh yeah. But like they <laughs> so, just like, allowed like I give them credit. They just allowed the third party controllers. Right. To which work is on really Bluetooth, awesome. Which I haven't. Is really cool. I haven't played with that yet, but I I do have the two eight bit uh, do controllers, yeah. the Nintendo and the Famicom themed ones, and I'm like. Yeah, I bought yeah, an I'm SNES one for it because I'm waiting. Once the fucking give me the SNES virtual console games, oh yeah, I'm gonna be downloading them and I'm gonna be playing them with my SNES controller. Oh Looks fuck cool. yeah, no, like like I I was really gonna buy a Shield TV mm-hmm. so I could I could do that like what you just said, but I mean once they start you know the online service and the games that you get and all that like I won't need it anymore. Yeah, and twenty bucks a year for online service like for what they offer, which is basically right. the same as. All the uh, the same as the others, yeah, know, but much cheaper. It's like, oh, that's really awesome. Uh, but uh, yeah, so, like they're like back to that complicated solution for voice chat. It's like, I even, are you fucking kidding me? It's like, I mean, I, I on one hand, I kind of understand it because I think what they want to do is they want to devote the entirety of the Switch's processor to the game. Mm-hmm. Okay, fine. Okay, I get really that. Have much. I I get that. I mean, the Tegra X One would be powerful enough to do the game and voice communication at the same time. Don't fucking tell me it wouldn't be. So, but I, I still, I still get it. I understand. But the fact that you got to buy a fucking dongle to plug into your phone and then you have to have a fucking headset to plug into your phone's headphone jack. And if you don't have one, uh, better get Bluetooth. Yeah. It's like, well, you could just skip that by letting us use the native Bluetooth. I wonder if later on that's going to happen. But I mean, probably. Like, do you really think people are going to pay whatever they're going to charge for I that can't dongle? Imagine. I just don't want to have to fucking pull my phone out to hook to it. Yeah, that that's retarded. Like now, I got to charge two devices. Yeah. For one purpose, you know. Uh, I, All I the care. wires too. Yeah, yeah the yeah, wires that yeah. are going to be like. What if you're playing portable? Yeah, hopefully, somebody comes out with a workaround. Anyway, uh, uh, so let's move on a little bit. What they came out with, uh, I really want to touch on. Uh, I want to get to Mario last, right? But. Uh, Mario Raving Rabbids crossover. Oh yeah, no, I came I out of this. nowhere. Yeah, it kind it was, of a it little was bit rumored. of Ubisoft too. It was, it was rumored. No one knew if it yeah. was actually going to happen. And then at Ubisoft's press mm-hmm. conference, Miyamoto fucking comes out with with one of the weapons on yep. his hand. Like, yeah, we're fucking totally doing Miyamoto, this. Miyamoto, man, you, yes, just everything you do, man. Come out with a sword and a shield for Zelda. Yeah. Come out with a fucking blaster looking thing. I want, by the way, out of nowhere. Mega Man needs to make a cameo in this game. Those things look like Mega Man's blasters. Anyway, yeah, yeah. The game looks fun as fuck. It does. Like, like XCOM. It, 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 it's a Mario and Raven Rabbit themed XCOM. The wall. <laughs> yeah, like it's not retarded. It's not terrible. It's not well, not stupidly over difficult. And, super get difficult. And yeah. just XCOM. So I, I do like the idea of the game, but uh, I mean, like you, like we were discussing before we came in here, like we were going to buy it anyway. Yeah. But I got to say, during Ubisoft's press conference, the guy that was crying, like he, is, he made me decide I'm buying this fucking game regardless of wonder, how good it actually is. He probably didn't think anyone would give a shit about this. Yeah. Like the Raving Rabbids, they're essentially fucking minions of oh, the Ubisoft God. universe. Yeah. Like, but I, I'm, oh my I God, hate them. Cross them with Mario. I hate them. Yeah, yeah. I hate them. But the way they're presenting this game, like, it yeah, I'm getting fun. that. I'm, I'm getting that. Yeah. So that's really fucking cool. So I'm definitely down for that. But, yeah. uh, you know, of course, we've got the Legend of Zelda DLC that's coming out in literally a week. Next Friday is when it, it, it actually drops. Yep. And it's like, oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> More Nintendo being Nintendo with the fucking save feature. <sighs> But yeah, I, I'm still. It's. I already bought the season pass. Yep. yep I want the DLC. There's. I have issues with the fact that half this, half the stuff that comes in this pack should have been free updates. Yep. But I, I do agree with you. But like I said, the the one bit of credit I do want to give them is at least they're not making us use fucking amiibos to get it. Oh God. No. At least it's not something that's already in game and you have to buy an <laughs> amiibo to get it, like they did with some of the other shit. Yeah. Like like sort of the six ages. The only way you can get that is an amiibo drop from a uh, Ganondorf amiibo, or you know the the Twilight bow is the, the is Zelda's amiibo, 
and shit like that. So I, I got to say, though, for giving them like giving them credit for that, though, is a little bit like giving a serial killer credit for not killing a puppy when he killed a family. Yeah, <laughs> like, the, like I, it's still the most evil shit you can do. Like, but um, I would I call give, no, no, no. What's e- it, it's nowhere near the most evil shit you can do because the most evil shit you can do is releasing a game that's only half finished and then fixing it later with DLC packs. Okay, that is pretty bad. Too. Yeah, come on. Fuck you. Yeah. Let's be honest here. Um, but I mean, it's just the the I get the me amiibo stuff. It's right. nothing that's needed in game. Right. It doesn't feel you really DLC. No, yeah, I, I totally get that. But, um, but I, that's the only thing I'm going to say was, about that. If it was like, here's a new map. Like, just buy the uh, the fucking pay twelve dollars for the amiibo. We're only making. Ten of them, <laughs> so they'll be on eBay for fourteen hundred dollars from some asshole who bought all fucking ten. Yeah, that, like, that 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 does happen a lot. That bullshit. Then fuck you. I'm gonna go download. I mean, the... that's that's what happened with my Zelda amiibo. I yeah. ordered from one guy. Ended up being a scam. So I was out twenty two bucks, which I did get back. But I ended up paying forty eight dollars for the actual amiibo that yeah. I have because, of course, that's what happened. But, yeah. uh, I mean, I'm a Zelda fan, so I was going to buy it eventually regardless. I was but so lucky the that game... I got all, got all the 20th anniversary, 30th anniversary. Right. Yeah, no, like, they're, they're they just... came right out of the box, and I was like, yep. <laughs> I'm taking that. I have the money today. But, uh, yeah, no, uh, Zelda, the Breath of the Wild DLC, the Master Trials, and the yeah. other part drops um, later this year. But, yeah, like we, we're getting all that really cool shit. And, they showed uh, some uh, kind of teases to what the next DLC pack. Yeah, it it's looks called like the Champions gonna, Ballot. It's going to, yeah, involve the champions more, make it some backstory. Right. Rumor going around Which, is that it's going to take place in old Hyrule, but I don't know how they would do that. It doesn't. I mean, dude, Link and Zelda are fucking magical. They'll find a way to make it happen. No, 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 not, not that. I mean, it could just be a prequel straight up. But, like, are they going to rebuild the world from the ground up so it's not all shitty and well i mean if they're going to go back to old hyrule it's going to be 100 years before the calamity ganon hit when the calamity ganon was gathering so i'm sure yeah. it'll be fine yeah i mean it would or would if they're, to, everything if they're, would be have to be alive or if they're going to go back as far as like 10,000 years before the events of this game oh, like where they're showing so. ganon actually arising i don't know we'll find out but uh that actually reminds me that i gotta move on to this because you you brought the, uh, the champions up yeah. they're releasing champion amiibos Oh yeah, which is actually kind of cool. And I, 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 I gotta get my Mifa. Mifa's adorable. I, I, and I think I probably will get Daruk. I mean, the Ganon because Daruk looks fucking cool. Gan- yeah, the Gan- the Ganon, my the Goron. Lord. The yeah. Goron, yeah. There's one letter different, two letter difference there. My bad. Yeah, but uh, uh, yeah, I, I, I want that. Yeah, I, I'll be I honest might, with you. I might get. Um, I'll probably get Daruk. Daruk. Yeah, Daruk. I don't know if I'll get the. Uh, uh, well, you got Rivali, the, the uh, you got Rivali, who is the uh, the Rudo, Rudo, the Rito, yeah. and then you've got I might get her. Too. You got Mifa, She's a cool character in the game too. Who Rito? Uh, not the Rito, the Gerudo. Oh yeah, um, I can't remember her name yeah. now. The, what? But yeah, she's, she's weird. Really All the names are fucking weird. But yeah, yeah no, I'm yeah. not buying the bird, dude, because he was a fucking asshole. He is a total dick. I don't like that. That entire race. The only thing that keeps them alive is the fact that I can't kill them in that game, and that the children are fucking adorable. All right, so... Uh, so, yeah, that's Nintendo. how I feel about that. Okay, yeah, if, shut up. Luke. If that game was made by Bethesda, that race would be dead. So we got the Untitled <laughs> Pokemon RPG that, that, that they're, uh, they're yes. coming out with. Finally! Uh, yeah, finally. Like, like Technically, it's a hybrid of a portable and a home console, but that's something we've been waiting yeah, for for a long time. But it's close enough to a console yeah, game. Exactly. <laughs> and we were discussing this earlier. If you want to sit there, Nintendo, listen to me. If you want to sit there, you want to give us multiple regions for this game and make the additional regions be DLC... 10 20 bucks a region dude i'm serious yeah i will fucking give you my money if you make them like 10 bucks at a region which as long add, as course, that original reason isn't really small or some yeah. ea kind of bullshit yeah don't give it don't don't charge us like 10 or 20 bucks for the sevi islands go fuck yourself yeah but let's yeah, say you let's say you start this game off in kanto and it also includes johto and then let's say i want to buy hoen or i want to buy Sino. Yeah. You want to charge ten to twenty bucks? I'll drop Dude, that money. Fuck yeah, I will. Are you fucking kidding me? This is the that's that's the game I've wanted for years. Ever since Pokemon Stadium come out, I've wanted. All right, I want Pokemon Red, but I want this. Oh my god! Pointing Every, the stadium. Everyone was like, "Nintendo, here, have the money for this." Yeah, nah, are you good. fucking kidding me? Like, dude, you want to charge sixty dollars for this fucking game, and then ten to twenty dollars for each additional region? Yep. Dude, I will give you. All of my money, I will buy 
every single one of those. Hands down. Fuck yes. Fifty dollar um like uh uh like dude, you charge sixty bucks for the yeah. game, fifty dollars, forty, fifty dollars for a, a fucking season pass. Like I hate season passes, I hate DLC. Yeah. But in this particular when instance, when it is fleshed out full, feels like it's legitimately adding something. Yeah, that like, like didn't the Witcher's DLC have to be. Yeah, didn't have to be in the game. Yeah, totally down for it. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, like I said, the Witcher Three DLC. There's a reason why we suck the Witcher's dick so much on this podcast, and it's because it is as fantastic a game as everybody says it is. Yeah, and CD Projekt Red, they Deserves fucking all the love. They fucking sat there. They created a full game in Blood and Wine and released it as twenty or thirty dollar DLC. They re- I'm telling you, there is enough content there to overshadow any EA release over the last 10 years. And they released it for as a thir- 20 or $30 DLC. I don't even know. And, it, oh my fucking God, it is amazing. It's good. But, yeah, um, that was I, – I think that's most of Nintendo. There's Oh, yeah. there's one other thing with Nintendo, and I didn't think I'd like it. Um, motherfucking Mario. The new Mario. Oh, yeah, Super Mario Holy Odyssey. Su- Super Mario Odyssey. That trailer blew me the fuck away. I, like, I, I want it. Like, yeah. dude, no, I want it. It's, it's another sandbox open world Mario game. Holy but, shit. But now you can possess things. You can possess a T Rex. And, you know, the funny thing about that is somebody asked you, my mother, what if you possess a T Rex and then try to ride Yoshi? He's like, please don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That would be bad. This is why I love. The fucking people at Nintendo here. His reactions not ah, you know, like oh no, we won't let you do. It. It's just he's like no, don't do that to Yoshi, please. <laughs> he legitimately cares about Yoshi. Like, what is wrong with you, man? But, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, no, um, I mean, I I do love it. Like you yeah. can possess people, you can possess. Fucking, oh, that's creepy as you can fuck. Possess, you can possess like like it's so strange. They decided to go the different route with the hat and make it something. Nice and fun and useful, and it's, I got to say, yeah. like, like what they were talking about during their press conference or, or well, presentation, whatever you want to call it, is like they were like, yeah, no, we wanted to do something that we thought was fun. And we came up with the idea of possessing things with the hat, making the hat sentient. It's like that's actually kind of fun. Giving things the mustache is the <laughs> best. <laughs> a Bullet frog with a mustache. With a mustache. Yes, it's it's fantastic, and I I love the idea, and so I'm like I'm all on board for this. Oh, I yeah. really fucking am. I, I and it's due out. It, it's got its, its own release date now, um, which is uh, what October twenty seventh, I believe. So it's like, yes, we know it's coming now. We know when it's coming, and who knows how long this game has been in development? Because we we don't yeah. we don't necessarily know. But uh, I mean, yeah. like like there's games that have come out on the Switch that were very obviously in development on the Wii U. Yeah. So I mean, this yeah. could have been in development for quite a while, and then I mean, yeah, we know we know Breath of the Wild has been in development for seven, eight fucking years, which I'm glad that they took that long on it because it's amazing. Um, and a couple other things you want to touch on, of course, Splatoon two and Arms, which I gotta be honest with you, I don't really care about them. I might play Splatoon, but I don't care about Arms. Um, yeah, uh, and of course, Arms is already out, and it's it looks. Mm, an Nintendo I, I, gimmicky kind of game. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not into that stuff. Um, but Rocket League's coming into Nintendo Switch, so that's kind of cool. And of course, there's crossplay between Minecraft on the Switch and Xbox and all that. So that's really fucking yeah, cool. Yeah, I like that. I like that crossplay. I like that it's uh, gonna be. I, I I just fuck yes. Put that game on everything. Yeah. No. Let me play it mo- portable. Let me do. Just yeah, give it to me. Yeah, it, it's incredibly fun. I absolutely. I just remember the other game that's on insane. every fucking console. <laughs> Goddamn Skyrim. Oh, and oh. on again. All right, yeah. Let's move on to Bethesda because we got we got a bitch about Bethesda yeah. for a little well, bit. Well, let's let's the positive of Skyrim on the Switch. I'll probably play it again. <sighs> that just having having yeah, that, a fucking Nord walking around with dude, fucking the. That I it was I, cool. I fucking hate myself. I yeah. really fucking do. But what I'm about to say, I hate myself for. I will buy Skyrim on the Switch. Yeah. I I, I, I want to play it mobile. I, I I hate that I'm saying it, though. I hate it so much because, I mean, I bought it on 360. Actually, you know what? I take that back. How much are they going to charge for it on the Switch? Have they announced that? Because I, I, if I, they're I, charging I $60, then I'm not playing it on the fucking Switch. I, I because don't know. Because fuck you, Bethesda. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think a price has been announced yet. Yeah, I don't think so either. Um, but if it is going for sixty, no. I got to be honest with you. you. No. 
Because it's not going to, I doubt that's going to have mod support. I, I I will probably still buy it sixty dollars. Uh, I, I hate, hate me. I, I hate, hate myself. myself for it so <laughs> fucking much. Shame. But dude, you get to play it with Link. You, you you get to put the master sword and his tunic and the shield I, in game. I will go download a mod to do that now. <laughs> yeah, but you can't take it with you. No, I can't. I cannot take it with me. <laughs> that's just that, true. Honestly, straight up, that is the gimmick that is getting me on board yeah. here. Is the fact that it's portable. I, I, I hate myself for it, but ever since Morrowind, I've wanted a game like that that I could play on the go. Yeah. And the closest I've come to that, there's a couple mobile games that are pretty good, but they don't have support for newer versions of Android, so it's kind of fucked up and wonky. Mm-hmm. But um, it's like that that's something I've wanted for a very long time. We're talking, you know... Fuck, 11, 12 years now. I don't know. Morrowind was released, what, 2003, I think? So yeah. we're talking we're talking 14 years I've won a big open-world adventure game on mobile. And I realize it's not really been possible because that takes a lot of a lot of work, a lot of memory, a lot of stuff like that. They've but gotten, now we're getting Skyrim yeah. on the Switch. They've gotten close with games like, uh, I can't <clears> remember <throat> if it was Neverwinter Nights or Boulder's Gate. Um, or it was that it was that kind of hack yeah, and slashy right. game. I don't want to hack put and those slashy onto game, the uh, onto like the Vita and other things, PSP. And, right. But this is this is a full fucking RPG. This is full Bethesda RPG on the go, which is yeah. cool. Yeah, I love I love the idea of it. I love the sound. Like I said, it's something I've wanted for a long, long time. Yeah. So um, so yeah, I'm like, all right, give me. It. I I will be hesitant if it's sixty dollars. Also, if it doesn't have the fucking DLC. Like if it doesn't have Dragon Ball, I can't see them not releasing it at this like, point. Like I can't, I can't imagine them not having that on there. Considering, 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 you can get Legendary thing. Edition for as low as thirty bucks now on yeah. consoles. Like I can't, I can't see them not releasing the, all the DLC. I really this hope not. Like I really, and my, my thinking, man, like fuck the DLC. Are you going to release the sixty-four bit version so you can actually use the Switch's four gigs of RAM? Yeah. Or are you going to be stupid and port the thirty-two bit version, which is so full of shitty bugs that it's fucking pathetic. I mean, I guess most of those books also exist on the, the 64-bit version in special edition, but at least we can address them more easily. Yeah. So I don't know, but from what I understand, uh, it's been a collaboration between Bethesda and Nintendo. So I actually do expect it to be a decent port. Yeah. Because Nintendo knows what the fuck they're it's doing. It's going to be some Nintendo shit going on, but hopefully it's good Nintendo hey, shit. Hey, you know what, man? If, if you're walking through the fucking thing and you see a Princess Peach cameo, fuck it, man. See a Yoshi run by? Yes. Yeah, I'd be okay yes. with that. I mean, But the fact that it's going to have Amiibo support, it's going to support the Link Amiibo, who knows what other things they might hide in give there. Give me a fucking Captain Falcon outfit. <laughs> That'd be baller as shit, man. Give give you some gloves. Give you some gloves that increase your one an, one arm damage or unarmed damage. Just oh my god! Punch yes. people to oblivion. Like yes. that'd be fucking cool as shit. But yeah, I, I like I said, I hate myself for it, but I will buy it. Yeah. But uh, on to the stupid shit that this oh is doing. Oh god! Uh, There's a lot of it. Well, yeah. But the biggest thing for me is they're trying to do the paid mods again. Under a new name and a, you know, oh, it's not really paid. No, it's fucking paid that's, mods. If it's not exactly paid mods, it it's fucking microtransactions in the worst possible way. It, it, it's microtransactions in exchange for free DLC. Yeah. Like, that's basically what it is. And it's like, I I get what you're trying to do. I get where you're going with the idea. Mm. Because you want to give back to those creators. That's fucking fine. That's cool. Well, they want they want money. I, well, I, I know that. Yeah, yeah they, they want the money for can, building in the mod them, support, even though it doesn't PR cost them a fucking thing. Yeah. Um, I get where they're going. I get it. But it's not going to work. No. I, I mean, if you look on the video on YouTube announcing the creations, so it, like, the creators club. thousand dislikes? The last time I looked at it, there were 44,000 dislikes yeah. and, like, maybe 2,000 likes. Jesus Christ. It's, like, it is incredibly one-sided. It's, like, Bethesda, don't. Stop yeah. this. If this is your parent company, ZeniMax, tell them to fuck off. If this is you, stop. Yeah. Seriously, guys, you're going to kill yourselves. You're... It's bad enough that you're releasing Fallout 4 VR at a full 60 fucking dollars. We can get to that. I think this uh, this Creators Club, um, in concept and coming out for the for Fallout 4 and Skyrim, um, it's annoying and I think it's bad. 
but especially when it comes to consoles, um, it's not it's not a completely trash idea. Yeah. The the idea of pulling in modders and different people into the company, which is something they've always done and I've liked, that they will hire people that um, I mean, they've are hired a few people. Great. Yeah, a couple. A few people. More like, than anybody else. Like the guy who created uh, Falscar, yeah. he actually did get a job with him. But, but uh, it's like, it, it, they, it, I but don't the, know. The, the, You're they, thinking of Valve who does that. Okay, yeah. Valve, Valve. does that like crazy. Um, but uh, But making a stable, like it's a fully tested mod that's, you know, it, it it's supposed to be complete and fit in the game seamlessly. I get that on consoles. Right. Um, using this stupid fucking e-money type thing. Yeah. Uh, you still got to buy it. Now, if there's a way to earn it, that's cool, cool too. Right, if, yeah. Like no, achievements like, give you. Like, like, Ubisoft yeah. does something like that that yeah. I actually enjoy. Like right. I get right. free shit in any Ubisoft game I bother to play. Yeah, like like let's say you can grind for it like you can with experience points yeah. or something. Like let's say, you know, every time you raise a scale you get one currency. Oh, okay, yeah. cool. That's fucking awesome. Yeah. I'm okay with that. That's so just playing cool. the game, you can just earn this credit and, and just buy mud crab armor. Yeah. Or <laughs> Which, you know, Horse fucking – I will remind you of horse armor every time we talk about Bethesda DLC. But my thing is that, okay, introducing that – it's a little late to do that now. Um, and it's like, okay, I will give you that for consoles. I think on PC it's going to crash and burn yeah. utterly. If they're, if they're going to try to do it on PC – And if I, they I'm, try and – here's the thing is you know for a fact that when either uh, Elder Scrolls uh, Six or – um, Fallout Five come out. Yeah, that's going to be in there on there from the start. Yeah, and I will. It'll come down to: Are they going to try and stop the free mod market? Right. Because if they do anything to hinder or to try and stop that, that's when they hit that fucking evil like you motherfuckers. Yeah, see, they've been supporting that, your games for years. That's the you're, thing. The yeah. only reason your games are popular the right, way they are. Right. Uh, if you're going to sit there and you're going to kill the driving force behind it, kind of like how Take 2 is doing with uh, GTA yeah. 5. It's like okay, you guys are seriously about to kill your own but, shit. It, yeah, and they're not trying to make money off this side thing. Yeah. Or Bethesda it, it, or Zenimax, whoever's come up with this shit well, fucking you, idea. There's a difference between uh, Bethesda, the game publisher, and yeah, Bethesda, and the, the Softworks company. Yeah. So, but I get yeah, still Software, though, the Softworks companies, the, the 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 creators, they don't want to keep kicking the dead horse that is Skyrim either. Right. It's just two of the companies making them. It, it, it's like it, I, it's definitely going to crash and burn. Like like you said, I yeah. understand on consoles because consoles have to have a um, a finer tuned. Sort of, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, entrance. So I get that because obviously there are things you just can't do. Mm-hmm. But uh, and there's always I, the the thumb that Microsoft or Sony is going to have, and it fucking took forever to just fucking oh get them God. on the PS. Let's not even talk about Sony and mods. Yeah, we're not even going to go but, into. But um, but even with Microsoft, you know, they, they fucking there's rules on what you can put on there. You have to make the game mods available for it. That all that different stuff. Where I right. get, I I get that as long as you do it. And you're trying to make it as easy and as cheap, so you're not trying to gouge people as possible. Um, and like, I, I honestly, I like it. I like the system of it being more of a donation thing. I love what Nexus has done. Um, oh yeah, no Nexus. But yeah, Nexus those, those people right. deserve some credit, and they, you know, monetarily, sure. But uh, you know, just I, I, it's stupid. All right, and all right. the backlash. This is just depressing. Let's move yeah. on to some positive things that Bethesda did do. Such as Wolfenstein 2. Fuck yes. It oh looks, my god, I love so the Wolfenstein good. series now. Oh yeah, Wolfenstein's always been pretty okay. Yeah. I mean, I have to say, um, I, I started playing the new Blood, or the old Blood. Mm-hmm. Fantastic. Oh my god, the love story it. in the, the Wolfenstein, uh, I can't even remember what the new, I just called it Wolfenstein. The new one, and then Wolfenstein Old Blood. Yeah. Um, both those games are fantastic. Oh yeah. The story is fantastic. I, I still, part of me wishes um, there's more that took place before everything went to shit and Nazis are in control of everything. Right. But you're fucking killing Nazis. Yeah. And I love killing me some Nazis. And they're evil fucking Nazis. Yeah, they're not like, they're not, they're, they're assholes. Like, yeah, they're they not even like, this is asshole. just another soldier in World War II. Like, like no, and, they are straight up. No, these are fucking evil baby killing Nazis. Yeah. And of course, the the evil within too, which a lot of people are excited about. I, I wasn't a huge, evil within um, was just, Eh, PewDiePie, it felt dated when I played it. PewDiePie said something really fucking important 
in his uh, his, his cringe compilation video I yeah. watched earlier today. Um, when you see a game with an amazing cinematic trailer, you can bet that it's probably going to be shit. <laughs> and yeah, it's like, you know. with the exception of one game, which is the game we just sucked the dick of, yeah. I can count plenty of fucking games with opening amazing cinematic trailers that have yeah. been fucking terrible. Like Skyrim. <laughs> fucking Skyrim. Yeah. I mean... Holy shit, Skyrim was amazing when it first came out, but after we started to realize how shit it was, it, it's a terrible fucking game. And it had an amazing cinematic trailer. Mm-hmm. You see, you have the Dragonborn fighting a fucking dragon, and it's awesome. But it's just, it's not, In it's the not actions. good. Oh, yeah. I, 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 that's one thing of, EA, of most game developers. Lots of developers do this. Yeah. My biggest problem with fucking World of Warcraft was always, I don't want the game you're going to put out I want the game that represents those fucking cinematics you show because those are fucking awesome. Yeah, I that's what I want. Don't give me this. Give clicky. me a movie. Fuck it. <laughs> well, they did that, and it was fucking. Oh yeah, awful. It, I'm sorry. It was terrible. But um, but yeah, yeah, like like yeah. Come on, what the? F- yeah. but he, he, opening he, cinematics are. Yeah, I when, love them though. I eat them up. Oh, absolutely. When there's a do. beautiful opening cinematic, those are fucking great. Yeah, but, but yeah, when there's a cinematic trailer, they're fucking awesome. Yeah, like, I definitely love The Witcher threes, but The Witcher three actually <sighs> ended up being a good game. CD so, Projekt Red has a history of making those really, really cool. Too. Oh yeah, but you got fucking <laughs> killing monsters. I mean, the evil, the evil within trailer two trailer was fucking awesome, but. Yeah. It's a it's a cinematic trailer. Yeah, it's, it's all very... pre rendered videos, so you can't really trust it. And I, I I actually do have that mindset, especially especially with Bethesda. Yeah, because I mean you got you got ESO. ESO has had some amazing cinematic trailers, and it's oh, at yeah, best the, the MMOs a, are the biggest, and it's at best a mediocre MMO with an Elder Scrolls wrapper on it. Yeah, so I mean I, I don't know, man. We'll see. It's it's an interesting game. Uh, yeah. All right. So let's let's move on a little bit here because I don't want we don't want to run too long. Um, so let, let's uh, let's talk about Ubisoft a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. Um, um, honestly, a little surprising. Like I we shit on Ubisoft a lot. No. Oh, absolutely. No. It, it's one of our favorite pastimes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because they do some dumb fucking shit. But, uh, you know, they announced uh, Far Cry 5. Yeah, they uh, showed some gameplay from it, and I was down for this game. I, I'm, oh, yeah. I love that series. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, Far Cry 5 is fucking, give it to me. And, of course, the Mario and Rabbids uh, yeah. the crossover game, which I think is just, yes, give me that. And like I said, the Ubisoft guy crying. They showed the video footage, and they got him the T-shirt. This is Don't Cry, Ubisoft guy, and it's a picture of him crying. <laughs> it's like... Just be, uh, the, the the his crying, the pride he took in seeing that yeah. be so well received, and has had to have Miyamoto presenting it himself. It's like, dude, yeah, you got to be feeling like, or you got to be on cloud fucking nine right now. Was, and and his emotional display, mm-hmm. like that, convinced me I'm buying this game no matter what, even if I never play it. Yeah, that's he's the guy who made um, Rayman too, right? And the last Rayman games have been. Just like you get that art in video games, fucking works of art. And oh, I'm not man, a platformer sure. fan. No, uh, and, but well, those yeah. games are so fun. I I absolutely love platformers because I I grew up with Mario. Mario yeah. was my shit. I grew so, up yeah. sucking at Mario. So Rayman game, Rayman's games, especially Rayman Origins, oh, they're so good. They yeah. really fucking so, are, and they're so pretty. They're so beautiful. They're so fluid. That's the thing I think is important. Yeah, like they're fluid. They're beautiful, and they play well. Yeah. And that that's what you need. That's what a game needs to be fun, I think. I can't remember who said it, but uh, uh, they were talking about, can you imagine when he was, you know, approached by them, hey, we want you, we're going to work with Nintendo, and we want you to take in, you're going to make a, a game with Nintendo, with Mario. And he's like, great, uh, you know, I'm prepared for Rayman, I'll get it going. They're like, no, 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 not that one. We want the rabbits. <laughs> give, us the, give us the minions. Give me the memes. Give us the rabbits that are cross-dressing that look like Princess Peach. <laughs> yes. How about that? But, uh, but yeah, but give it to us. <laughs> uh, they of course announced the crew too, which I, I mean, nah, I don't fucking care. I love racing games. The crew one is uh, it's okay, but I, I don't know. I'll, I'll have to, I'm gonna wait on this one before I make a 
a final judgment. But of course, uh, South Park, Fractured But Whole. We got yes. a, you know, we got a date on that. That's oh, really I fucking, fucking awesome. Love the first South Park game. Give me this one. Yeah, It'll no, and, and they're gonna they even announced a mobile app game that goes with it, which we didn't even know was gonna fucking happen. So that's every that's, game's gotta have a mobile companion. They totally do, and it's called Phone Destroyer. <laughs> <laughs> which, it just it just breaks your phone, which kind of worries me a little <laughs> yeah, bit. It just breaks your phone, and that's it. Phone like, am destroyer. I am I am I seriously gonna be smashing my phone now? Is that what's gonna happen? I don't want to smash my phone. I love my phone. It's a One Plus Three T, and it's actually fan fucking tastic. Uh, of course, they showed uh, the next Assassin's Creed. No, I don't care. Yeah, I, no, I, I don't care. Give you know what? No, I don't care. <laughs> take it the two years. Fuck off. you. Fuck Maybe you. Maybe it'll be good. Fuck you. Maybe. Probably not. I don't. I, know. I'm I not don't... a fan of that. Okay. Oh no. But did you watch any of the gameplay though? Uh, some of it looked okay. I gotta They've say, they changed it up. Which I gotta I will say, yeah, it, it 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 feels more um, it's like RPG. Yeah, I was gonna say more of an adventure RPG, yeah. action RPG type thing. More of a Skyrim and less of whatever the fuck they were well, going for. Yeah, like it's Skyrim or like a uh, uh, maybe like, maybe more witchery. Yeah, where you see I mean, enemies of I can't fuck with those guys. Right. Which they did. You know, they I've did got a say, level two sword. They did say before that that's where they were drawing inspiration from for this game. Yeah. And honestly, if you're gonna draw any inspiration from any fucking RPG type action RPG game, do it from the fucking Witcher. That game yeah. didn't do stealth all that much, but that game was fan fucking tastic. So yeah, yeah. The the one thing I have about that is uh, if you're doing that. Take a step back from the realism as yeah, well. Yeah. If you're till, still trying to give me this realistic, super serious story, um, but I can't stab a guy in the back and, oh, I only did 24 damage. Yeah, no. to some Because this mean, guy's a level 53 and I can't fuck with that. I'm a level 2. Fuck you, a knife is a knife. Yeah, exactly. That's why I won't play the division. Fuck you. Uh, it doesn't, a bullet is a bullet. It doesn't fucking matter yeah. how skilled I am with that knife. If I manage to get a drop on a guy and stab him in his kidney... <laughs> he's not gonna. He's, he's not gonna, gonna have a bad day. I stabbed him in the kidney. I'm sorry. Yeah, he's not gonna turn around and kick my fucking ass unless he's like Terry Crews or something. It's not gonna I fucking mean, happen. If he's on some kind of crazy ass drugs or something where Maybe, he doesn't yeah. feel pain, Maybe. or he just doesn't need kidneys. So you know, <laughs> don't don't try and sell this as, as realistic and yeah. as serious as I mean, the other assassins. Yeah, like, like seriously, if, if I manage to sneak up on a level fifty three enemy and all I have is my hand dagger and I put that through the back of that guy's skull. Guess what's going to happen? He's dead. He he's, fucking he's fucking die. dying. He's not going to take 24 fucking damage. He's going to die. Yeah. So as long That's as how that not, works. As long as it's not too RPG or right, right. they go full on. If you go full on, then fine. Yeah. You're going for that kind of thing. Sure. Okay, fine. Yeah, but if you if you're if you're going to try I, to do I always yeah. that's the thing that has always irked me about RPGs and right. things like that. Yeah. Duh. There are there are just okay, <laughs> Bethesda. There are just things that if you do People die. Yeah. So if I sneak up on an enemy and I'm in a position to slash that enemy's throat, he's not just going to take half his health. He's not going to lose half his health. The fucker's going to die. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's that's. <laughs> I'm going to start bitching about things again. <laughs> um, all right. So let's. I say. I say we end this with Sony. Yeah. Um, let's go. Let's go ahead and, and talk about Sony new Spider-Man trailer. That I think was the biggest thing. Uh, you, you could go back and forth between that and God of War. Um. um for me. Yeah, as a Spider-Man fan, yeah, uh, Spider-Man I, is definitely more important for me than, and, than uh, anything. And Naughty Dog's making that, which I'm not one of their 100% good developers, sure. whatever. Right. Um, but yes, give it to me because it looks fun. Yeah. Um, it uh, looks, I mean, it, it's a it's a big ass open world Spider-Man game. Yeah. It's like, fuck yeah. Spider-Man Two. Um, I played it on the GameCube. I think it was yeah. on the Xbox and everything else. Uh, fucking amazing game. Oh, yeah. Open world. Oh, yeah. If it's anything close to that, gonna love it. Oh, pardon looks, me. It looks fun. Um, the combat really looks interesting. Lots of, like, right. the other things you can affect. And, of course, I'm sure they show chose an area to show that, you know, has lots of that contextual stuff. Right, but right, of course. if that is delivered in the game that continuously... Could also, I mean, that could also have been something that they just, like a demo area they whipped up just to show off the contextual yeah, yeah. stuff. And it's a little more spread Remember, out than that. EA's but. is lies. Or, I mean, uh, E3 is lies. Oh, yeah. No, any in-game footage is not in-game footage. Yeah. So, but, yeah, it looks it looks cool. Um, I, I, I'm i digging it. Uh, yeah. God of War looked fucking amazing. I got to say, like. No I, surprise there. I got to say, like, I never played God of War games. Mm-hmm. Um, 
just because uh, I never had those systems. Yeah. Like, we had the PS2, but my dad didn't buy those games, so I was limited by whatever my dad bought. And I I have to say, uh, I mean, it looks fuck. They've always looked good. Yeah. I've never, I would never ever say anything negative about a, a, a God of War game. But this one looks really fucking cool because it looks, it looks like they've combined the sort of hack and slash elements from past games with you know more of the RPG feel like the, like Ubisoft is with Assassin's Creed. Yeah, and I got to say, like, it looks really good. And of course, Kratos is journeying around with his son, which is kind of kind of a neat idea. He has a new kid. Yeah, um, hopefully you, it goes better than the last time. <clears throat> And apparently, you can swap between them throughout the adventure as as needed. Or as, as it looks term. like they seriously took a lot of uh, uh, ideas from uh, the Last of Us too, because right. the the kids using a bow, the kids going to be useful, controllable, and stuff. Like I, Sony and their developers are taking this idea of two different play styles in the same game, right? And you've got the fucking Kratos just being the fucking badass. I can imagine that if there are sections where you switch to the kid or the kid is your aide. Like, uh, there's a scene where he, <laughs> Kratos tosses somebody up in the air, and the kid hits him with like two arrows, and then yeah, it's like, just fucking baller. It shit. just looked really fucking baller. It Speaking cool. of uh, Last of Us, there's Last of Us Two that are coming out. That's coming out. Yeah. So I mean, I never play. Uh, this is another another one of those things where I never had the system, so I didn't yeah. play the original Last of Us. But I do know it's lauded as one of the greatest. It's games It's one ever. of those games that has amazing gameplay, amazing story. And it's it's just all around a good game, right? Um, so it's a no brainer to make right. a sequel. And, and if it's one of those things where you know Sony's got their little ninety nine dollars a year subscription stream service where you can play games, if that's one of those things that comes to PC, I might more consider doing that because I know like yeah. that's how I would play Bloodborne if I would ever play Bloodborne. Mm-hmm. But I don't know if Bloodborne alone is worth a hundred bucks a year. It may be. I don't know, but I'm not worried about that right now. And yeah. of course, you know. Uh, Gran Turismo Sport they announced looks pretty okay. I, like I said, yeah. I'm a fan of racing games. Yeah, so I got I I to bring it up. <laughs> um, I mean, I remember that was one of the few games I actually did manage to play on PS3 was Gran Turismo uh, Five, I believe, and it was re- or was it six, five, six, one of the two. It was a really good game. Like I really do liked it. I really did like it. And yeah. Uncharted: The Lost Legacy. Yeah, the next Uncharted game. It, these are a lot of a lot of the stuff from Sony. Um, people kind of have had the opinion that their conference was almost boring. Yeah. Because all the game, a lot of the games it's, are it's, stuff we've already seen. Yeah, stuff we stuff already knew was know. coming. But, I mean, these are big titles to get announced. It's right. just, I think people wanted more. Like, they got it with The Last Guardian. That's mm-hmm. the, the new, the... Which um, actually... Or not The Last Guardian, I'm no, sorry. No, 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 um, that didn't do very well The uh, The same team that does that, Team Ico. I, doing, team Ico, um, yeah, they're doing a, a Shadow of the Colossus. Shadow of the Colossus. Yeah, maybe. they're doing, a, they're doing the, the, um, a, a, a reboot. Uh, yeah. Or remake or rehash like. or re- yeah. yeah, whatever if it is. If it's the same game, it's I, giving the visual treatment that it originally deserved. If it's the same exact game, I'm still not going to play it. Right. Like I've se- I, I understand people absolutely go nuts for ICO games. Right. Um. I just uh, they to me seem just. I get it. It's a story and it's experience, but I just don't really care. Yeah. Like I can't. Mm. Like it's just there's only what seven. I don't remember how many guardians there were. I and you kill them, and that's remember. it. There's not yeah. like any other stuff to it. So I mean, but, uh, I, you know, to each their own. I, I the following in those games is massive, so right. I'm sure they're fun. Right. Um. Det- the only game I had to talk about with them, other one is the Detroit. Um, Become human. Become human. Yeah. Beautiful. And this is another thing they showed a last E3. Right. I thought that trailer was fucking fantastic. Right. This new trailer, completely different. Like. Um, you're still dealing with these androids and like in the choices and stuff. And I haven't been a huge fan of these really just choice based games that aren't right. that don't have much to them. Like, yeah, uh, like like that horror one that came out, and then the a few others. That I just they weren't my cup of tea. This one looks fucking beautiful. Yeah, um, I I don't know. I don't have an opinion on that one because yeah. I I didn't I didn't actually get like I said I didn't watch any E three shit because I was dealing with my computer thing. But uh, I just watched the trailer afterwards, and I'm, I I I do like that kind of thing. And I mean, for me, when there's choices to be made and yeah. they ultimately don't matter, it it upsets me. Yeah, I'm hoping that that's so, not the case in this right. This show. Yeah, that that's what I'm that's what yeah. that's what I'm sitting there thinking like like okay, there's choices to be made. Does it actually affect the outcome of the game? 
I mean, I obviously, uh, judging by the title, this is all I got to go on. It's the title and the fact that you mentioned androids. It's like, mm-hmm. So is it like he, androids becoming more human, like Data's journey in Star Trek, the next yeah. generation? Okay, so that's cool. So now the choices you make actually fucking matter. Yeah. And well, that, that, that's, that's super important. It's yeah, basically yeah. what I want to get at. Like, that's what I'm hoping for. Because, I, I mean, it sounds like an interesting title. Yeah, the way they presented um, in, in uh, last year's E3, I don't remember yeah. as much. But this one is uh, you are this basically awakened android. Uh, I'm assuming that's the main character anyway. Right. He uh, goes and with another one, they're essentially starting the revolution. They break into uh, this place selling these robots for humans to use as slaves essentially. And it Sounds like great time. Starts off with uh, how do we get in? Do we just run in? Do we break right. the wall? Right. Secret, blah, blah, blah. And it breaks down when they're fucking like having a riot Do and they catch a cop while the police have been shooting these androids. Uh, what do you do? Do you kill the cop? Do you let him go? Do you take the high road? I get, yeah, it's, okay. Absolutely More. every choice apparently takes you down a different story in a different direction. Okay, which, so I, I like that. I like yeah, the sound of it. It looks – it's very, very interesting looking. Okay, okay so I, I think that's almost everything. Just one more thing I want to touch on. Mm-hmm. Like, apparently there was the PC gaming conference. <laughs> okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. That, that dude was just cringy as fuck. But – did they even announce anything there? Like, uh, yeah, like stuff like Forza Motorsport and there's Lawbreakers, which is a new game from the guy who created Gears of War, which is not that special. I, I love opinion. Cliffy B. Don't get me wrong. As a personality, I like him. I but, liked him when he made Gears of War, and I think he stepped away at the right time right, um, because but, uh, Microsoft wanted to beat the dead horse. <laughs> um, and I loved his... Speaking of... I'm getting, I'm getting to something. His, uh, his, his reaction to this game and this trailer and how happy he is for what he made. I thought the trailer looked fun. No right. idea what the game is going to turn out to be, but I'm, I'm, I'm interested. I mean, here's the thing I want to touch on. There's like, yeah. I guess Microsoft is doing an Age of Empires HD remake. And when I say Age of Empires... Why? You killed that fucking studio, you asshole. When I say Age of Empires, I mean the original Age of Empires. Yeah. And the big thing is that it's going to be the PC. It's like, it's but we already always, have it. Yeah, it's always been our fucking PC. I have the HD re-release of 2. That's where it fucking started. That's the only place uh, it could have possibly existed back then, so whatever. Yeah. Anyway. There's only one other thing. I got to say, the new Metro, I don't care. You know, that was probably all pre-rendered, the the, the gameplay, in-game, yeah. whatever. Um, but fuck it, it's new Metro, and it looks so awesome. It, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, down love the Metro I'm, down, I'm down for a Metro series. Just just because I want those guys to be yeah. successful. Make another game. You, you guys are one of the companies I hold up there with CD Projekt Red. Right. On, like, I, I you legitimately you play, make games during wartime, and that's fucking respectable. Dude, Skyrim on PSVR. Oh, God. God. Fuck okay. the VR stuff. Right. Yeah. Fuck both Skyrim VR. Fuck... <laughs> Uh, especially fuck Fallout Doom 3. VR. That looks so goddamn stupid. Fallout 4 VR. Okay. Uh, guys, we're going to have to end it there because if we yeah. don't, we're just going to rant for another hour Probably. about how much it pisses us off. We'll try and touch on some of this stuff maybe in the next episode, but uh, you know, go ahead and give us a like on Facebook. Share this. Hey, if anyone has iTunes... Do stuff on iTunes for us because I don't think we even have enough ratings to yeah, matter. Give there. us a rating, man, so that we can get on the board. Um, and of course you can always find us on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram, yep. all username or well, the page, all ungodly geeks, just boom. You can find us there on f- Twitter. We'll always follow back. Same thing with Instagram. Mm-hmm. Uh, so go ahead, man. Hit us up. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Listen to us just bitch and rant. And some of the things were and, positive. Um, you know, we, 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 we were happy at some of the stuff, but, uh, <laughs> I think that, I said, fuck yeah, like 30 times. No, still not enough times. Like same thing yeah, with yeah. Ubisoft. I couldn't. Ooh. We won't get into it, but they did do good with Battlefront too. I, I give them credit for that. Right, but uh, that's it for us for the ungodly geeks. I'm Joe. Uh, I've been Luke, and you guys have a good day. See you next week.